channel today making some kitty cupcakes for our furry friend Leo here. He is a rescue kitty. He is about two now and I thought we would celebrate by making some cat cupcakes for his birthday. And just note that your cat may or may not like these cupcakes. I do have one other cat and she absolutely hated the cupcakes but this little guy absolutely loved them. So just keep an open mind with that. Anyways, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Here are the six ingredients that you will want to gather. We have one sweet potato, one regular potato, a three-fourths block of cream cheese, some brown rice flour, one can of tuna, and water, not oil. And I would prefer albacore, but today we're just using the off-brand and two eggs. In this photo, it only has one egg, but we're actually going to use two. You can start out by peeling your potatoes and dice them up and then throw them in a pot of boiling water. I actually separated mine and put them in two different pots and actually made extra just because I was going to eat some for later. Um, not the cupcakes, um, just extra potatoes just for like lunch maybe tomorrow because who doesn't love mashed potatoes? Anyways, if you put them in the same pot, then I would recommend probably dicing up the sweet potatoes, probably a little bit smaller because regular potatoes cook faster than sweet potatoes. After your potatoes are cooked, you are going to strain out the water and mash them up with a masher. Next, you are going to take your can of tuna and separate the tuna juice and the tuna and put the juice in a separate bowl and we'll save that for later. Now you're ready to mix up your cupcake batter. So we're going to start off by taking a 1 4th cup of sweet potato, a half cup of mashed potato, half a can of tuna, half a cup of rice flour, mix it together, it'll come out to a really dry mix and one by one then you're going to add in your eggs. cupcake mix makes about four cupcakes so when you line your cupcakes you probably want to use a different liner than I did I used paper and it came off really nice along the sides but a little bit got stuck along the bottom so I would recommend probably using a foil and then you're going to pop that in the oven at 225 for 10 minutes while that is baking we are going to take our 3 fourths block of cream cheese and then we're going to put it in the mixer with our paddle attachment and beat that until it's Creamed. We don't want to over mix it just because it's going to get really liquidy. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of tuna juice. Afterwards, you're going to get a piping bag and put your piping tip inside and then fill your bag with your new icing mix. Set that aside and now we're going to chop up our leftover tuna. I made mine really fine just so it, we're going to be using this as like a sprinkle on top of the cupcakes. So it's really up to you if you want larger chunks or just a bunch of little small chunks. Our cupcakes should be about done now, so I'm going to take them out. And while they're still warm, I actually have a little bit of tuna juice and I'm going to brush on a little bit on the top and let that soak into the cake and let that cool. Once those are cooled, now I'm ready to ice up my cupcakes. So if you haven't seen my video, I've done two other videos on how to ice large and mini cupcakes. I'll put those links down below if you want to check it out. And once you have iced up your cupcakes, then you want to sprinkle with your little tuna flakes. Then you can just top it off with a cat treat. And there you go. Now you have some amazing kitty cupcakes. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if your kitty liked them as much as mine did. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Happy birthday, Leo!